So, we've covered the rock time, the volume, uh, and the fluid times. And we've sort of touched on a couple of occasions on the permeability story, the ability of the rock to flow. And that's what uh, I'd like to touch on now, actually, just cover that with uh, a, a number of ways of getting at the flowing properties of rock. I guess the primary and direct measurement, of course, is the core measurement. You remember we cut some plugs in our conventionally recovered core, and here I've got a couple of plugs, one uh, sandstone with quite small pore space in it, one uh, sandstone with quite big uh, pore space in it. Now, to measure permeability across there, if, we, uh, if you can imagine yourself uh, blowing on one end of this core plug, uh, you can imagine that if the pore space in the top one is quite tight, quite small, you'd have to blow quite hard to get a, um, uh, air out at the other end. Whereas the lower one here, it's a bit easier, um, and you can see that you can imagine a, a, a much easier permeability pathway through here. So if you were to measure pressure at various points along here, um, in this top plug, you'd be really pressuring up this early part of the plug, and not much of that air would be getting through to the end part of the plug, so there'd be quite a large pressure differential. Whereas in this lower plug, where it's easier, you're sure you're putting in some some pressure, but it obviously doesn't build up that much because it transmits quite easily uh, to the far end of the plug, and so the pressure differential is actually quite small. So that that's what we're talking about here, the, the difference in pressure from one end to another. And when it's difficult, there's quite a large pressure drop, and we say there's a low permeability. And when it's easy, there's a small pressure differential, and there's a high permeability. If you'd like to Google Darcy, there's a, an actual, there's an equation there that you can use to calculate permeability um, from um, cross-sectional area and pressure differentials, but this is the, the, uh, the concept that I just want to get across at the moment. Easy is high permeability, and this hard-working stuff up here is low permeability. Now that's a direct measurement, and as I've already said, it's quite difficult to get core everywhere, so a lot of our time is spent trying to find predictors of permeability from other measurements. And one of the other measurements that I'd like to talk about uh, now, potentially, is the NMR measurement, which uh, is often very good at providing estimates of permeability.